What's going on everybody? Today's video is going to be about citing your free and open source R packages. So one thing I wanted to do is, even if you're not going to have an explicit citation to something that you're using, like if you're writing an academic article, a paper, or just some analysis, and you don't have anything like a journal or a paper or something else to cite, um, you should still probably give credit for the people who make these open source software packages that you're using, like in R. And so I wanted to figure out a way to do that without having to you know, have a lot of overhead and work to do about it. And I've kind of come across like several different options and different things to use in R Markdown in a way to just make this super simple to do. So the first thing I have, and a lot of this stuff is already on my GitHub, um, on my R workflow um, repository. Uh, if you go to package loading, there's this cool like bit of code here I found for loading up all of your different libraries that I got from uh, some Twitter post. And so it basically just loops, um, or does a map, maps the library function over a list of um, package names in a vector. And if you don't have it installed, then it installs them and it's silent. So I really like this. And so I just use this template script, uh, just copy this and just paste it into all my new projects for easy loading of all my uh, packages. And then if you have, like I have right here, um, I have different types of packages in a single row. So if I'm doing like, if I'm making a package, making my own custom package or working on one, I might run this line of, of these package development libraries. And if not, I'll comment them out. Um, and then they can just add more and more and more and more. So really, I just use this to load all my packages. So what this does is first thing it will do is assign a vector of package names to a variable named packages. So that's important to know for the rest of this. But then it'll go through, it'll install them, it's invisible, great, we have our loaded packages, excellent. So now, what do we wanna do? We wanna make sure our packages are citable and our packages by default using um, this function in knitter, we can write a bib using packages for our R packages. Uh, I noticed this in UA's um, book down example and the actual book itself is that they cite the R packages and they use this function to do it. And if you just start a brand new book down package, this function comes you know, standard in it. And normally they have it, uh, they have all the package names hard coded in here, but because I have that vector of package names in the variable packages, I can just put that here. Now, if I just run this as it is, so I'm writing a bib for this, and even if I have in my um, YAML uh, a vector of, or an array of different bibliography files to list out, which I would if I was doing an analysis, I would have like my cited papers and articles and other things, and then just for my R packages, I would keep a separate bib file just because I like things broken out that way. Now, if I just have these multiple bib files referenced and I can have them here, like here's packages, here's cited, um, it wrote all of this for me. I didn't write any of this. This is all done based on that write bib um, uh, function call. So even if I ran this as it is right now, and give it a second to compile, if I run it, down at the bottom under references, you see there's still no references called. Now, why that happens is you need to actually explicitly put a reference to whatever you're referencing. Um, so if there's no inline reference, like, uh, I don't remember the syntax off the top of my head, like at, and then um, something, I don't know, the, whatever you're gonna do to do an inline reference for um, whatever you're doing, I don't wanna have to do that for every single R package. And that's one of the reasons why I wasn't doing this initially until I found out a better way to do it. So here's what I found. I was digging around in some of the R Markdown documentation. And if you use this option, no site and this, so I don't remember exactly exactly what this is doing. From what I'm looking at it, what it reads to me is that if um, you have a citation and you do not find um, the actual inline citation, so the ampersand or the, the at symbol, and then any other wildcard text after, if you don't find the citation in the text, add it to the bibliography. At least that's how I'm reading this. So now that we have this option uncommented, no cite, and then this little bit of text here, if I compile my document, with all of my R mark, uh, all my R packages in the packages.bib file and referenced. Go down to the bottom and here are all of the R packages that I referenced. And this is all done dynamically. So I don't need to type any of this. I don't need to update any of this. It's all added for you. 
So this is a cool way of adding all of your R packages and all your free and open source packages as references in your document. This way you can give credit to the people who spend work on your open source software. So I hope you guys find this as useful as I did um, and enjoy.